G'day guys and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're cooking wild pork stew. Now we're at the tail end of winter right now here in New Zealand. So stew's a really good comfort food for those cold days. It tastes really magic. I'm not going to be putting a huge amount of pork in the stew because I've been eating quite a lot of game the last week. My body's saying play. It's time to slow down and eat a few more veggies. So you can put more pork into this if you like. If you're cooking it using a domestic pork, I'd suggest do yourself a favour. Don't trim off all the fatty bits. Chop them up and whack them in the stew with it because fat tastes good and it's bloody good for you. There's that whole pig in the bag. Right, we're out of here. Right, let's have a look at the vegetable ingredients going into this. I've got one sweet potato known as kumara here in New Zealand, three carrots, one shallot, one onion, a handful of green beans, some broccoli, a couple of mushrooms, some snow peas, and dates had sweetness, ginger, a couple of tomatoes, and some yams. Heat your pan, in this case I'm using a camp oven, bit of leaf lard, get that nice and hot, and I'll whack in our pork first, get that browned off. Once that's nice and brown, we're going to introduce our onions and our shallots, saute those, give them a good mix up. Mmm, smells good. One tablespoon of honey, mix it in well. Caramelise that and then add some soy sauce. About three good tablespoons. Give a good mix up. Get some colour going. Whack in our vegetables. Good old stir up. Give that about ten minutes and then add our water. I'm putting in about oh, a cup and a half just to cover the veggies like that. Whack the lid on. Right, our stew's been going for two and a half hours. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it smells good. Mm-mm. Alright, look at that. Gonna give all that stuff on the bottom a bit of a nudge. Give it a taste test. We could do it with a tiny bit of salt in there. I've already had some in, but a bit more thick Himalayan salt. Give it a stir in. Gonna add half a cup of water. Gonna give it another 10 minutes and it'll be ready. Now I only eat one meal a day, so it's really important that that one meal is packed with good nutrition. When I was younger, I used to eat a lot of rubbish, but as I've grown older, I've really learnt the importance about what you put into your body is what you get out of it. And if you like to go hard, do a lot of physical stuff, on the move all the time, you need to eat well. Right, let's break my fast. Actually, not quite true that I have had some tasting while I've been putting salt in and stuff, because you've got to taste test as you go along. So I do know what I'm going to be putting into my mouth, but I haven't had a full mouthful yet, so I'm going to get a nice big mouthful, lots of veggies, lots of meat. Oh, smells bloody good. I can smell the ginger, oh, the onions, the carrots. <laughs> oh. oh man, that is just so bloody good. You've got to try this, guys. Oh, excuse me. I can, I can taste the heat of the ginger. I've got the sweetness of the honey combined with the dates. Also, the carrots, which are really important in stew, give me that sweetness, but there's enough salt in there and soy sauce to give it that sort of savoury flavour. On top of that, I've got the sautéed onions and the shallots working well and all the green veggies are broken down to make a bloody good feed. Hey, good luck with your own hunting, collecting, gathering, shopping, however you're getting your food and uh, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. You've got to try this one. You just bloody love it. Oh, mate, that is just divine. Perfect.